What is going on YouTube? It's Dearis here and welcome to another episode of Small Talks. And today I want to talk about my love for the Fujifilm camera system. So before we continue on with the episode, I just want to make sure to let you guys know this is a growing small photography channel and if this is your first time joining in on the, one of my videos here, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that ring a bell button. It will definitely, definitely touch my heart if you do so. I will appreciate it there. I want to continue to grow this channel and be able to, you know, uh, have the motivation to keep producing more and better content and just see me grow, you know, not just as a YouTube creator, but as a photographer. So yeah, I would definitely appreciate that. Yeah, so for any beginning photographer, uh, finding a family system or a camera as a whole is something kind of hard. And you know, you have to do a lot of research, a lot of studying and, 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 and you know, reviews and also checking your bank account. Um, <laughs> there's a lot of things that, that's involved in like picking, you know, that perfect camera that you want to start with. Um, and, <clears throat> you know, I did the same thing about a year ago. Um, I was looking into Sony, a little bit of Nikon, and Canon as well. And to believe it or not, I actually started with the Canon, uh, the Rebel series with the T2i, if you guys know that. Um, that's cool. But uh, yeah, I definitely started with that first. Um, and this was years ago. Uh, this was during the time when I was a film major, and uh, I was using that camera to kind of make short films during the summer with my friends. And I eventually was going to get into photography at the time, but. I didn't really pursue photography because I was like, photography doesn't make a lot of money. Um, but now I'm at this point where it's like, it's not about the money, it's about the creativity. Uh, because, you know, like I was saying a year ago, you know, I picked up, you know, a camera because I felt like something was missing in my life and I needed, you know, I needed something that kind of like fulfilled that creative juice, you know, inside of me. And, um, and I've been shooting ever since. Um, and at that time, I found out about the Fujifilm camera line. And to be honest, I didn't think Fujifilm was that big. I really didn't, you know, I knew about Fujifilm, like the old, you know, film cameras like Fuji. But I didn't know they were making these mirrorless cameras that I didn't know about as well. So I looked up about that and I just kind of fell in love with them. Um, you know, you know, photographers, they fall in love with the Fujifilm camera systems for many different reasons. It could be the aesthetics or how they feel or the like color science of the, the images that they produce. Um, there's many different reasons. And then as you guys know me as someone who's also a street photographer, getting a mirrorless camera that wasn't a big DSLR was like very essential for me. And you know, I just fell in love with the retro look uh, for it. And um, that's when I purchased my first Fuji camera, which is the X-T20, which is what I'm shooting with. And, if you check my Instagram here, um, you know, I also do photography. I do a lot of photography, but all these pictures here, images here, uh, my vlogs, everything is being filmed with this camera. Um, and, you know, I, I, I love it there. But, uh, you, know, um, you know, this week is a big week for Fujifilm because they had the X Summit and they just announced the uh, X100V. Um, I made a small talk video about that as well, saying how I am sold in this camera. At first, I really wasn't interested about it because I'm more interested about what they're going to reveal on February 26th, and that is the Fuji X-T4. Um, and that's the camera I think I really want because um, it'll be a big jump for my X-T20 for sure. Um, but I definitely do think down, down the line I want to get the X100V. I think that would be like the perfect street photography camera. And I believe that has a fixed lens. And I think is that a 23 millimeter focal length? I believe. Um, so, um, yeah, I, I definitely want to upgrade my body. And, and see, and that's the thing too, you know, you want to pick a family that you, you know that you're going to grow with. You know, once you get that first body camera and you have exhausted everything about that camera, you want to upgrade. But you don't want to upgrade into another family because then you may spend more money because that means you have to buy more camera lens and you know and things like that but if you sit with a particular family you know um all you have to do is just buy the body and then you just upgrade the lenses with that and that's what i'm going to do when i upgrade from my xt20 so i only have two lenses right now i have the kit lens which is the 18 to 55 millimeter that comes with the xt20 and then i purchased the portrait killer the 56 millimeter 1.2 and 
I know a lot of you guys know that a lot of Fuji users have that in their kit. Um, you know, it, it, it brings out sharp images, um, beautiful creamy bokeh, um, and it's very good in low light situations and you know, I, I just freaking love it. Now the camera, I believe the camera's around 900. I got it for 800, it was on sale there. Um, Fujifilm lenses are pretty expensive, so if you haven't, haven't decided on joining the Fujifilm family, and then if you are, just know that the lenses are pretty darn expensive. So, so yeah. So, with these lenses here, I, I was able to produce a lot of great photos, as you can see here. These are some of the pictures I have taken with this beautiful lens here, um, and I just love it. And like I said, I just want to continue to grow uh, with the Fujifilm line systems, particularly the X series, um, and. You know, I'm thinking of selling my kit lens because um, I just want to do prime um, lenses. And the next lens that I really want to get is the 16mm 1.4. Now, if you guys don't know, I like shooting wide. And with my portraiture, I like doing environmental portraits because I like kind of bringing in people uh, into, the, into the photo and kind of telling the story that's surrounding the subject. So as you can see here, uh, I actually rented the 16mm lens for this modeling agency shoot that I did. And this is kind of like one of my favorite shoots that I did last year. Um, and I just like how everything turned out. Like, you know, as you can see, everything just looks, like everything's kind of pulling you in. I just like how everything's surrounding the subject there. Um, so yeah, and then after that, I do want to invest into the 23 millimeter lens. Um, and then I think I'm set. I'm set for a while. You have a 56, 23, and a 16. I think that would be the perfect lens there, and especially if I get a new body this year, which hopefully might be the X-T4. If not, then maybe I'll get the X-T3, but no matter what, I'm upgrading my body this year, for sure. Just really like the quality of Fujifilm, and they are definitely going places now. They are definitely growing as um, you know a company. They're, they're getting so many like photographers now. Like I've been seeing so many videos of like Sony users switching over to the Fuji because of the X-T3. I think when the XC4 comes out, that's really, really going to push a lot of people into the family system there. But yeah, guys, I think that's it. Um, that's all I want to talk about. Remember, once again, small talks are just supposed to be like, you know, it's a small talk. It's me talking to my community, you know, to my, my friends, my subscribers, my followers, whatever. Um, just kind of giving you my thoughts of what I'm feeling about anything that regards photography. So with that, I want to leave this video asking you, what camera family are you in? Are you in the Fujifilm family as well? Um, are you someone who's still searching? Uh, or maybe you're not a loyalist to any Fuji camera system, you just love cameras. I want, to, I want to hear that, so go ahead and comment below. And once again guys, don't forget to you know, hit that like button, share this video to your friends and family, maybe to people who are you know, just kind of researching about Fujifilm, because um, this is, as of right now, a Fujifilm channel, but it's also photography as well, so I don't mind, you know, talking about other camera systems too, but as of right now, Fujifilm has my heart. <laughs> but anyway, guys, I gotta go, actually, so with that, as always, keep the dream alive. Peace.